What's up everybody, welcome to Coding with Chaim. In this week's video, we're gonna talk about hoisting in JavaScript. So let's get into it. So let's imagine that I create a variable called x using the var keyword, and then, bef and then on the line above it, I actually go ahead and log the value of x, right? So in other words, I'm effectively trying to use a variable before it's been defined. So if I go ahead and I run this code, what I'll actually see is that I'm getting the value of undefined, okay? Now let me just make one small change. Let me now get rid of the var, and let's change this to be a let, and now what we're actually going to see is we get a reference error, cannot access x before initialization. And the same thing would also happen is if I actually make this a const, if I go ahead and run this code, once again, we're going to see cannot access x before its initialization, right? And so this already starts to give us a hint or a bit of a clue to what hoisting is and how it kind of works, okay? So let's go back to the, to the sort of uh, code that didn't blow up. Granted, it gave us a value of undefined, but it didn't blow up. So we're going to call this working code. Now let's examine this a little bit further as to why it works and how it works. Okay? Basically, when we look at line two, what we're really seeing is we sort of see something that kind of gets broken down into two parts, right? We have the var x and then we have the equals 10. So the var x basically is when we're actually declaring a variable, we're basically creating a new variable and we're giving it the name of x. And then on the right hand side, we're basically saying that the value of this particular variable is going to be equal to 10. As it turns out, JavaScript actually kind of does this particular process in two steps. So in reality, when JavaScript is reading, it, reading your code, it'll look a little something that looks like this. We're basically going to say var x. We're going to define a variable called x. We're not going to give it a value. And then on line two, we're going to go ahead and say console.log x. Then finally, we're going to come down to line three. And now we're going to go ahead and say that x is equal to 10, which is, by the way, the reason why we get undefined. So as it turns out, in this case, the variable x is defined. So we're not actually getting any reference errors because we are, in fact, referencing a variable that does already exist. But at this point, the variable, this variable has no value. So any value that's been initialized but hasn't been given a value in JavaScript, as we know, its initial value, value always starts at as undefined, which is why when we come to line two, the value that we actually see when we log it is in fact undefined. Then we come to line three and we actually kind of give it the value. And this is basically what hoisting is. It basically takes the variable declarations. Now this is the crucial part. It'll basically take the variable declaration and move it to the top of the file, but the sort of assignment of value will basically stay in place. You can technically reference reference variables before they've been defined because the definition will get pulled up to the top, but the assignment of value will not get pulled up to the top, which is why it's still going to see undefined. And also, this only works for var. It does not actually work for const and let. Now, the problem, of course, is that in this particular example, this isn't really very useful because if, if you know, great, yeah, so the x variable will kind of get hoisted to the top, but if its value doesn't kind of come along with it, then what good is this going to do for me? I'm just going to get on the find every time and my code's not going to work. So this isn't really very helpful. And so you'd be right with that. But this is really all just more of an introduction about the actual fact about what hoisting is and how it only works with var and now with const and let. So now with that sort of introduction out of the way, let's actually see how this sort of is, is sort of more relevant in real world examples. So let's imagine we actually have a function called foo. Now inside of the function, we're going to just do something very simple. We're just going to go ahead and log the fact that it's been called. Now we're going to come to line one, and we're actually going to go ahead and call this function. So in this case, what's happening is we're basically trying to access a function before it's been defined. Let's go ahead and run this code and see if it works. And it turns out it does. Now let's make one sort of seemingly small change. Let's go ahead and say var foo is equal to a function. And then inside of this function, we're once again just going to do, we're going to log the variable or the, the string called. We're going to comment out that one and then run this code as it is right now. And we're actually going to see as we're getting type error, foo is not a function. So this is now very crucial. Okay, so remember, we basically sort of in the introduction, we kind of talked about the fact that only the var keyword gets hoisted. And also only declarations get hoisted, but the assignment of value does not actually get hoisted. And that's going to explain the reason why lines seven through nine work, but lines three through five do not actually work, okay? And so the reason is as follows. On line seven, what we're actually creating is a function declaration, which basically means there is no sort of declaration and assignment. The entire statement is basically one giant declaration. And since we've already mentioned that declarations do in fact get hoisted, right? We saw the var x, the actual x, the sort of declaration of the variable x got hoisted, the variable existed. We didn't actually get a reference error saying that the variable doesn't exist. It might have not had a value, but it did exist. So we know that declarations get, you know, get hoisted. And so in this case, the entire function is basically just one big declaration. There is no equal sign, so there is no assignment part of it. And so therefore the entire declaration actually gets kind of hoisted to the top of the file. Therefore we can actually use the function in our code before it's actually been defined because at the time of the code already running, that function has already very much been defined because the entire declaration has been hoisted. 
On the other hand, on line three, what we're actually doing is we're basically creating a variable called foo. So while the variable foo does in fact get hoisted, the value in this case, in the value in this case is a function, right? So we're basically saying that we have a variable called foo whose value happens to be a function, but that function doesn't get hoisted because just like any other value, this value does not come along with the variable declaration because again, only declarations get hoisted, values do not. Therefore, in line three, what we actually get is a, is a very specific error basically saying foo is not a function, right? We're not saying foo doesn't exist. We're not getting a reference error. JavaScript is clearly indicating that it recognizes that foo exists. It knows that we actually have a variable of foo, but at the time that we're trying to invoke it, it doesn't yet know what its value is and we're trying to treat it as a function. So basically JavaScript is saying, hey, who is not a function because I don't know what this value is because only declarations get hoisted, but assignments don't actually get hoisted. Well, that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe, and I'll be back next week with another video.